I had a dream We were sipping whiskey neat Highest floor of the Bowery And I was high enough Somewhere along the lines We stopped seeing eye to eye You were staying out all night And I had enough No, I don't want to know Where you've been or where you're going But I know I won't be home And you'll be on your own and family, welcome to Ella's wedding. Sorry, bat mitzvah. We're delighted that so many of you are here sharing this special occasion with us. It's even more special when, when we can welcome you into our home. It seems fitting, seeing as our first bat mitzvah for Max was held in this very garden just over ten years ago, and we finish off the Grand Slam here as well with Ella. This event actually started out as an afternoon tea. So I'm not sure what brief Kelly, our planner, was looking at, but between her and Claude, they've done a terrific job. This garden and this house holds a lot of special memories for us. We've had lots of fun times and memorable nights in this garden. Uh, Pet cemetery as well is just over here. But, but last week was very sad, end of an era, when the football nets had to go. To be fair, they were falling apart, but they've been part of the boys growing up. But we had to wave the nets off, along with lots of other fun things, which Claudia grouped under the heading, It's for the Bat Mitzvah. <laughs> but tonight, it's all about Ella. And at this party, we're going to finish off our Bar Mitzvah, Bat Mitzvah journey with a bang. Uh, and as the song goes, tonight's going to be a good night. 
it, it's wonderful to have Ella's glamorous grannies here tonight, Grandma Adrian and Grandma Monique. I know how much Ella loves you and enjoys spending time with you both, and you look absolutely beautiful tonight, the pair of you. And it's also great to see Ella's grandpa Frankie, the top tipster himself here, looking so well after his recent operations. Cla Claudia and I, I'm sure, like all parents, are so proud of all of our kids. And although we have a lot of them, they are all so different. I'm not going to embarrass them now by talking about them individually, but I just want one story that sums up their different personalities. So if we go back to May 2012, uh, last day of the season, City QPR, 90 minutes. We're 2-1 down. We're about to lose the title to, uh, to United. And this is no word like this, this is exactly how it went. Max, who's the kind of sensible one, is sat rocking in his chair going, it's only a game, it's only a game. <laughs> Jay, who's the worrier, worries about everything. So it turns to me and goes, Dad, I'm not going to school tomorrow. You can't make me, I'm not going to school. And Ben, who's a bit of a drama queen, looks at me and says, Dad, they've ruined my life. <laughs> Our lives, though, would not function without one little lady. I describe her as my pocket rocket with bundles of energy. She's quite literally a one-off, and that's my beautiful best friend and partner in crime, Claudia. There, there are some people who are just doers, and Claudia definitely falls into that category. She puts ev she's put everything into arranging this night for Ella. But I don't know if you're aware that Claudia hasn't been well in the run-up to this weekend. In fact, she's not been well at all. She's de developed a form of Tourette's. <laughs> and this is where she randomly shouts out instructions and commands at me, which are all bad mitzvah related at the most inappropriate times <laughs> and with no relevance to what we're talking about. It's particularly bad any time after midnight, just I'm putting my head down to go to sleep. If I've managed to seek a sit down for five minutes, she's on to me like a flash. Have you not got your jobs to do? Now, I think I do a lot around the house. And guys, I think it's all our wife's thoughts that if they don't see it, it simply hasn't happened. And Claudia's Tourette's has normally ended up with a comment, you're in denial. But Claudia, you've pulled it off. And I know with everyone here with us tonight, this is going to be another great party. And Claudia looks simply stunning. How lucky that you picked the first dress you tried on and there were no dramas. <laughs> yeah, right. We've come a long way, you and I, and for those of you who don't know, it's our 25th wedding anniversary this year. Yes, there's been good times and sad times, fun times and tough times, but we've stayed strong and we're still standing. So enjoy tonight, don't worry about a thing, and if in doubt, drink vodka. Okay, on to the lady of the moment. <clears throat> Some of you know her as Ella Bella, Daisy Maisie, Ruby Rosie Rose. Yeah. Some are simply Ella. To me, she's chicken. And I love her to bits. So let me take you back to the 12th of April 2005, early evening, <clears throat> when Claudia and I were at Fairfield Hospital waiting for boy number four to arrive. With the boys at the famous Curry Cottage waiting for the impending news. Well, she didn't take long and by the time the poppadoms had arrived, out she popped. Oh my God, it's a girl. Claudia, take everything back, we're going pink. I promise you, we never thought we'd have a girl. To be fair, we were quite happy with Ben. Now, Now, I've always been pretty hands-on with the boys, but I really didn't know what to do with a baby girl. But one massive plus was no more getting drenched while changing nappies. From the moment we brought you home, Ella, her, our house was never to be the same again. Her brothers are very protective of her, despite the heavy banter she has to deal with. Ben has taught her all the full back catalogue of City songs, and I'm very proud, Dad, that not only is she a City season ticket holder, but she genuinely loves coming to the game and understands what's going on including the offside rule. Ella, as the only girl and the youngest sibling, has to fight to be heard. She complains she gets ignored during any family chats. The other week, she was speaking at the dinner table very quickly. I said, Ella, slow down. And she replied, I can't, because if I stop talking, one of you interrupt me, and then I've lost my place. 
true. But I've got loads of fond memories with Ella. Like the way she makes me brush my teeth before waking her up in the morning. The way she spends as long on the toilet as any of me or the boys. She pops into the office sometimes after school, comes into my office like a whirlwind, rearranges everything, disappears, out she goes, we meet left to pick up the pieces. But she's the best back scratcher. And there's this face she pulls, which I hate. So for Father's Day, she got me a t-shirt to wear in bed with that face on it. And she calls me John, knowing it bugs me. But she melts my heart, I'm so proud to be a dad. So Ella, just carry on growing up as you are, and remember, you can be whatever you want to be. And Ella, in the story of your life, write the best book you can. So enjoy your night, chicken, and make sure you save a dance for me. So that's all from me, other than say party hard, and the food stations are out to open. Thank you. When Ella asked me to say a speech at her bat mitzvah, I was actually really surprised, because I know all the secrets, and I love to tell a story. So Ella, here we go. It all started back in 2004, when my mum and Auntie Claudia were waddling around with baby bumps and looking forward to the arrival of their prince and princess. Of course Auntie Claudia was running around, going to the gym and out most nights returning things she had just bought, whilst my mum was throwing up most of the day and nights. So it was always going to be that Ella would follow in her mum's footsteps. So on a nice sunny day in April, Ella Bella, Daisy Maisie, Ruby Rose was born and Auntie Claudia could finally start buying pink things. In fact, if Ella would have been a boy, they would have had their own five-a-side football team. But Auntie Claudia had already insisted the kit would be pink. The only top she could find that would fit Uncle Johnny was a pink marquee. <laughs> but fortunately, out popped a beautiful baby girl. Ella grew up in a house full of boys. That's if you can't bet as a boy. Because let's face it, it's more of a girl than Ella. <laughs> Well, between Uncle Johnny, Max, Jay and Ben, Ella can have whatever she wants. Max, get me this. Jay, can you just turn the TV to this channel? Ben, can you help me with my Asian order? <laughs> She's got them wrapped round her little finger. Uncle Johnny is a real softy and loves his little chicken, Ella. She can do whatever she wants and he will never ever tell her off. She totally spins the rose house around. It's a miracle that Ella has made it here tonight, as there is a history of Uncle Johnny forgetting to bring her home. <laughs> we always have to check JR's little chicken is safely in the car and not left behind in some random place. <laughs> we, have we, ha we, have, we have spent every holiday together since we were born. Ella was always an angel, doing all the right things. She would fall asleep on the plane, I'd fall asleep on landing. <laughs> she would eat all the food. I'd prefer a food fight. <laughs> our, dads would, our dads would walk us round in our prams. Ella would fall asleep after one lap. My dad was walking me around for 20 laps. <laughs> you get the picture. She was a right goody two shoes, and she still is. So I cannot remember life without Ella being around. And when we moved across the road, we were like an old married couple. Ella is the boss of me, just like my mum is the boss of my dad. <laughs> Auntie Claudia is the boss of Uncle Johnny. <laughs> Ella tells me what to do, and I just nod and do it. <laughs> well, I've learned from the professionals, haven't I? <laughs> when people used to ask Ella what our relationship was, she told everyone we were cousins. <laughs> Although she was happy with this storyline, Auntie Claudia soon dismissed it, as she didn't want any potato farmers in the family. <laughs> Me and Ella are very close. Sorry, Sam Leonard, I know you like her. <laughs> we are really like brother and sister rather than friends. She's the pretty, funny, clever sister I never had. Sorry, Frankie, only kidding. <laughs> Wherever she is. And I'm the sporty, good-looking, popular, talented older brother that Ella's, Ella always dreamed of. <laughs> Ella is very popular at school. She has loads of friends and is always making social arrangements. 
She's out every night of the week. Let's just get this straight. She's not. She's never on dates. <laughs> Ella turns down every boy that asks her out. She's turned down that many that I think we should send her to the island of Fernando. <laughs> You know the phrase, no like no alighty. <laughs> Let the yellow see the fella. <laughs> you will always see her on her phone. Ella loves to post on Instagram 70 times a day. You always know what she's had for breakfast, where she's after school and who she's hanging out with. Ella is never at home. She's either doing a dance show, ballet or acting. I'm sure one day we will see her on the telly in Corrie or Britain's Got Talent. Oh no, if there's ever a programme fellow, it's got to be the Housewives of Cheshire. <laughs> if you ever want to know anything about Auntie Claudia's spendings, Uncle Johnny's latest football master plan, Ben's love life, Max's hair, or Jay's poorly tummy, Ella will tell you. I actually think she has all the family phones hooked up to hers, and she seems to know everything that goes on in their house. Ella loves to go shopping. I can't imagine where she gets that from. <laughs> she also loves to be pampered. She gets her nails done and she's also learning how to do her makeup like a professional. I'm sure you will all agree that she looks lovely tonight. <laughs> Seriously, Els, you are really like a sister to me and I hope you stay that way forever. And if you do finally say yes to the long line of boys that keep asking you out, I promise I will come along and be your bodyguard. <laughs> That's enough from me. See you now. <laughs> Put your hands together one more time for Max. Hi. We're Ella's 10 faith people. I'm Ronaldo, also known as Ellie. I'm Justin Bieber, also known as Tansy. I'm Bruno Mars, also known as Ella. <laughs> I'm Johnny Rose, also known as Lives. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Ed Westerwick, also known as Pearl. <laughs> Ella, there are a few things we would like to say to you. <laughs> Ella, you need to stand up for this. <laughs> Ella, we share a passion for food and sleep, and there's so many memories we do keep. I hope our friendship lasts forever, forever, as my moments with you I always treasure. Like how we talk and talk about all the drama, but all I have to say now is the floor is lava. <laughs> Ella, we've been best friends since the day we were born. We'll be best friends till dusk till dawn. And all these years, the memories we've made, I hope that they will never change. I... <laughs> I really hope our friendship lasts forever. We have the best times when we're together. Ella, we haven't been friends forever, but it seems like it when we're together. Me trying to think of a comeback other than your face. You are a friend that's really ace. Our bus journeys are fun, so all that's left to say is, you look gorgeous, hon. I've been friends with Ella since we were eight. Most of the time, it's been great. But honestly, friends are the family you get to choose, and you're one special friend I never want to lose. Whenever I'm with you, you make me laugh. Let's hope our lives always stay on the same path. You are my best friend, you belong in my heart. We go through ups and downs, but still nothing can tear us apart. I know you as a sister, and I will always care. Love, respect, and trust are the things we share. Massive babe, you look amazing. And <laughs> let we come up to collect your book. And let's all cheer again for Olivia Tams and Ellie Porter. family and friends. Firstly, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for coming tonight and celebrating my bat mitzvah with me. 
This isn't quite the party my mum and dad were expecting, but it's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> Thank you to everyone for your lovely wishes and generous gifts. Special thanks goes out to those who have travelled further than the M60 Ring Road. In particular, a big shout out to my family from London, Auntie Doris, Uncle Terry and the rest of the Hugh crew. Thank you also to my best friends, Pearl, Ella, Ellie, Olivia and Tamsin for those kind words earlier. I spend more time with you lot at KD than I do with my own family. To be honest, you are just like family and I couldn't imagine life without, you, without any of you. I can be quite moody, a little bit sensitive, and I'm definitely not a morning person. But these girls are always there to brighten up my day and put a smile on my face. We have known each other for so long that it's hard to figure out which one of us is the bad influence. I can tell you definitely that it's not me, but Tamsin, it could be you. <laughs> cousin Matt, though he's not really my cousin, he's the traveller's son from the bottom of the garden <laughs> of <that> <laughs> From the bottom of the garden in Radcliffe. <laughs> 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 Only joking, Uncle Shay. I love you. My dad made me say that. <laughs> Matt, thank you for your lovely words. Matthew and I have been brother, like brother and sister since we were knee high to a grasshopper. Unfortunately, Matt still is. <laughs> but he's a great friend and he's always looking out for me. We have been on holidays together forever. Turkey, Israel, Disney, Spain and cruising the Mediterranean. Despite spending so much time with Matt, I know I'm a disappointment to him. I can't play football. Although I do support the best team in the land and all the world. <laughs> Matt, I love you like a brother and always will. Talking of brothers, I've got a few of those. <laughs> Although you shouldn't really have a favourite, I'm not going to lie, but Max is my fave. <laughs> I think it's just because he's so chilled and laid back that I'm sure I do get on his nerves, but he doesn't show it. He gives great hugs and kisses and is very, very handsome. <laughs> just need to find him a girlfriend now. <laughs> Max, I love you big time. Then there's my Benjamina the ballerina. <laughs> my only sister. <laughs> he loves our regular shopping sprees to the trap, where we shop till we drop. And we both get our eyebrows threaded. <laughs> he's so not he's so not brave. Every time he has them done, he cries like a baby. <laughs> but I always have such a great time with him. Ben is very individual and always immaculately dressed, and he looks very handsome this evening. My mum can be heard regularly shouting out, Ben, what have you gone and bought now? As she opens another ASOS bag, to which Ben replies, Don't worry, it's on Dad's credit card. <laughs> We've renamed his favourite website, ASOB, as seen on Ben. <laughs> Yam and I love you, Lewis. <coughs> Finally, there's Jay. The clever one. Mr. Headboy. And the, <laughs> and the favourite child. <laughs> I'm so glad you ventured out of his hutch tonight, where he's been hibernating for the past two months while studying for his A-levels. I think I annoy Jay the most. I'm not sure what it is, but I do have a knack of winding him up, as he does with me. But next year I'm going to miss his little cute ears and little face as he goes off to Birmingham Uni to study economics. Jay, I'm so, so, so proud of you and what you've already achieved, but you have left me with a tough act to follow. Cheers, mate. Jay, I love you. Life at home is tough being the youngest child and only girl, but I'm not complaining. 
I do feel so. I do feel like nobody listens to me, or that my opinion isn't valued. So when I do get the chance to speak, it's normally done by talking very fast and very loud. If I pause for a breath, then I will lose my place. On the plus side, I can get away with pretty much anything. And if I do something really naughty, I can always blame it on one of the boys, and often do. And it's normally Ben. <laughs> So now that I'm regarded as a woman and, an, and so now that I'm regarded as a woman and as an adult, I want to be involved in what's going on in this family. No more shushing when I go in the room or waiting till I go to bed. I want to know everything. Get it? Got it? Good. Okay, now a few words about your hosts for the evening, JR and Claude. Hmm, where should I begin? Let's start with the mother hen. She's the ruler of the roost and the boss of the house. She's constantly nagging at me to tidy my room, get my school bag ready, do my homework and get out of bed. Did I mention I'm not a morning person? But she really does push me to the best I can be. I've done school plays, ballet shows and gymnastics performances, none of which I wanted to do, but all of them really enjoyable and rewarding. It really packs my head how hard I often she's always right. Now many, of you know, my, now, many of you who know my mum knows about her Claudiasms. Some of them are quite legendary, but tonight I'm not going to spare her blushes and not tell. But mum, you do have us in absolute stitches. Tonight, Claudia, you look beautiful. Thank you for everything you do for me, and I love you very much. <laughs> then there's JR. He thinks he's the boss of the house. He thinks he's cool, but he's really not. I know how to drive him mad with my constant phoning during the day, although I don't often get to speak to him as he's always in a meeting. <laughs> Sometimes he doesn't even pick up the phone. I just get the standard auto reply of, sorry, I can't talk right now. <laughs> Dad, do you actually do any real work as you're always constantly in meetings? I do have some strict rules though. When my dad gets me ready for school, I make him brush his teeth before waking me up. And whenever he picks me up or takes me anywhere, I always unplug his phone and plug mine in so we can listen to some decent music. It's always a battle and he normally shouts, stop fiddling with my buttons. But I love the time we spend together and I particularly love going to watch City with him and the boys. I do really love City, but sorry boys, because when I grow up, I'm going to marry Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> Dad, you're a Nas at times, but I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you both for making tonight so special for me. So that's pretty much me done. And other to say, have a great time and remember the theme tonight is eat, drink, rave, repeat. Thank you. Put your hands together for Ella. Come on.